Hi, welcome to Homemade Healthy. I'm Lisa McGarry. Today we're making s'mores cupcakes. New York Baking Company sent us silicon baking cups for our cupcakes. So we're gonna try those out today. So first we're gonna make graham cracker crust of our s'mores. We take a cup of ground almond butter. You can do salted or unsalted. If you do salted, you don't have to add salt, but this is actually unsalted. So one cup of that. Then we take one teaspoon of vanilla, one teaspoon of baking soda, and sea salt since I didn't have any salt in my almond butter, one egg, and a third of a cup of honey. I actually got this recipe as a chocolate chip recipe, but we, when we taste it, we're like, oh, it tastes like graham crackers, so that's what we use it for. If you really love cinnamon, you can add cinnamon. Today, we're just gonna do it without the cinnamon. Okay, and all we have to do is mix this up. So it's gonna get loud for a second. You wanna scrape down your sides. Make sure you get everything incorporated. Mix it again. Okay. It's gonna be sticky, but that's okay. It's from the honey. All right. So we're gonna take our silicone baking cups and we'll just Squish a little bit into the bottom, and we're gonna bake these at 350. Just push it in. We're also gonna make homemade marshmallows for these, which is pretty fun. All right, and once you get all of these filled, we're gonna go to uh, put them in the oven for about 10 minutes on 350 degrees while they're baking, we'll make our marshmallows. And while we're making our marshmallows, we'll melt our chocolate and we'll have beautiful s'mores cupcakes when we're finished. Now we're gonna make marshmallows. When I started this paleo lifestyle, I learned how to do this and it's really fun and easy. So I take three tablespoons of beef gelatin, unflavored, get the orange can, the green can doesn't actually make gelatin. So you wanna put it with some cool water in, a, in your mixer. And I go ahead and add a teaspoon of vanilla to, to at this time. And you're just gonna mix it real quick. Excellent. Now we're gonna go mix honey and water on the stove and get it to about 240 degrees and then we'll mix it back with our gelatin and make wonderful marshmallows. Okay, now you need to get to the stove, get a candy thermometer and you take a half a cup of water, which I already had the pan a little hot, and you want a half a cup of honey. The original recipe I tried had a cup of honey that was so sweet. So what you're gonna do is just kind of whisk this until we get to 240 degrees, and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, we've heated up our honey and water, and now we're gonna add it to our gelatin that we had mixed and let it sit. So I'm gonna turn the mixer on so you're not gonna be able to hear me, but I just wanna let you know that's what we're doing, and it's gonna mix for about 10 minutes, and while that's mixing, I'm gonna put the chocolate in the toaster oven to melt. All right, now we have our marshmallow. It's done. We're just gonna put a dollop, and this will thicken as it cools. We're gonna put a dollop right on top of our cupcakes on each of them. And then you can let them cool for a minute, but if you've got your chocolate ready, then you can just do your chocolate right on top. Ta-da! So. Now they just have to cool and they are delicious. And now I have marshmallow on me. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Check out my blog at lisamcgarry.com and we will see you on our next episode of Homemade Healthy. Mm -hmm.